Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Please subscribe. The button's down there. Can you see it? On your right. Right there. Yes, that's it. Thank you so much. Welcome to the family. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Get comfy. Make sure that everything is just right in your room and you're comfortable and warm. Liam was on his front garden practicing Taekwondo. His cat was there, Cleo. Heidi, Cherry and Vea just happened to be walking down the street when they spotted Cleo. Cleo! said Cherry. It's been ages! Are you all right? How are you doing? We've not seen you for the longest time. When was it now? Oh my goodness, it was absolutely ages ago. I think it was like, not last time, or time, no, not that time. Uh, no, I think it was like three or four times ago I saw you in Cat Club. Are you all right, Cleo? How's things going? Who's this? Cleo said, this is Liam. And Liam's practicing his Taekwondo. Heidi said, Ooh, I know what that is. That's a form of martial arts, right? At this point, they were talking back and forward through the fence when Cleo said, Why don't you come in the garden and hang out with us for a bit? Liam said, I would like that. You should see what I'm practicing right now. I'm practicing a form that's really difficult. The cat said, Oh, great. Okay. Well, let's do it. Let's come in and join you. And you can show us all about this take away, take away, uh, take on, take on doing. And, 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 and I, I think I'm going to be good at it already. I don't know about you, Heidi, but I think I'm going to be great, said Cherry. The cats got inside of the garden and Liam lined everybody up as if they were doing a sequence. At the moment, he was practicing a particular form. Each belt you have to learn a form and the forms can get quite challenging as you progress into a new coloured belt. Liam decided to show them all the different moves and steps that he had to learn for this particular belt he was going for. Veya said, Um, is there a pink belt in, in Taekwondo? Because I'm not that I always have to wear pink, but... Me does like pink and me thinks that pink is very, very, you know, it's very princess-like. But I'm sure um, there's other colours in the belts that are very princess-like. Liam started laughing. He said that there were white belts, there were yellow belts, there's green belts, there's blue belts, there's brown belts, there's black belts, there's red belts. But he didn't think that there were pink belts. Oh said Vaya. That's a shame, really. But, you know, I'm sure if we came to Taekwondo and we came to an actual practice, they would probably be okay with me wearing a pink belt, don't you think? Liam said. Well, I'm sure that they probably would. But at Taekwondo, there's lots of other things that you learn. You don't just learn the physical exercise of Taekwondo and the movement and the discipline. You have to learn discipline in your outside life, discipline in the things that you do and the way that you behave and, and learning to respect other people and things like that. Cherry said, uh, Discipline? What do you mean by discipline? Does that mean you have to be really like disciplined with yourself and make sure that you practice every day? Does it mean that? Liam said, Well, kind of, yeah. You do have to practice and you have to go to the practices, but you also learn discipline as far as it helps you to become more organized in your life so that you can be organized maybe getting ready for school or be organized with your homework or be organized with after school activities, things like that. Discipline helps in all of those things. Cherry said, Oh, wow, that's awesome. You know what? I think I might be disciplined. I'm really disciplined about making sure that I have my dinner because I don't want to miss my dinner because I really like my dinner. And I'm really disciplined about seeing my friends often, even though we've not seen poor Cleo for absolutely ages. Sorry about that, Cleo. Cleo said, it's okay. Well, I think I'm disciplined. Don't you think I'm disciplined, Heidi? Heidi said, um, 
With some things, but in some areas you could probably use some practice. Like, for example, um, taking direction. You don't tend to take direction very easily, Cherry. Sometimes you like to do your own thing, Cherry said. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with doing your own thing? Liam said. That's part of the structure that you would learn with Taekwondo, that you have to listen to grown-ups take direction and, um, you know, not get upset about it and not get frustrated or anything. You just do what needs to be done. Cherry said, Oh, I don't think I want to do these Taekwondo classes because I don't do very well in uh, being disciplined, but... I do think I'd be absolutely awesome at it. Do you think it's something that you could learn me and, and, and I don't have to go to class? Liam said, well, that would be kind of cheating because then you're only doing half of the practice and you're not doing all of the practice. And then at the end of the day, you might lose out. Cherry said, wow, wow, okay, this is really serious, isn't it? Did you do anything that else that's like really serious in, in take take quando eh? Liam said, well, sometimes we do this really fun thing where we have to break a block, like a block of wood in half. No way, said Cherry. Give over. No one can do that. Can you do that? Can you really do that, Liam? Do you think I could do that? Can I, can I make me pause strong enough to waka 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 and, and like, and, and, and chop wood in half and maybe, maybe like chop some, chop, chop a tree in half and, and like, like maybe chop a, a, a chop a building in half and, and, Liam said, well, I think you're getting a bit carried away, but I do have some blocks and you can practice if you want to. I'll show you how you do it so you don't hurt yourself. And then you just have to go for it and smack the board so it breaks in half. OMG, I'm super excited. Do oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think we all should do some exercises first and kind of warm up. Cherry decided that it would be a good idea if everybody ran around the garden doing jumping jacks and then jumping down on the ground and doing squats and and, and also doing push-ups and uh, also doing uh, sit-ups for your abdomen because you might need your abdomen to break a board. So she had everybody working out, first of all, and everybody, by the time they'd done, were extremely sweaty but ready to attempt to break a board in half. Cherry said, I don't think I want to go first. I think Vea should go first. She was hoping that Vea wouldn't do it because if Vea couldn't do it and then Cherry couldn't do it, she wouldn't feel so bad. But she didn't actually say that when she was talking to Vea like that. She just thought that Vea would think she would be nice by letting her go first. Vea Smack the board clean in half. First try. Cherry was impressed but not impressed. She was a little bit worried. And that's when she confessed. Wow! Wow! Uh, I'm really worried. Uh, I'm sorry, Vaya. I said that you could go first because I was hoping secretly that you'd fail. Because if I fail, I'm going to feel really, really uncomfortable and like... I'm going to feel like a failure. And I thought maybe if you failed, then I wouldn't feel so bad and I really feel guilty about that because I bet you just thought I would be nice letting you go first. And I'm really sorry about that, Vaya. And you did really awesome and I'm really, really happy for you. But now it's my turn and I'm scared. Vaya said, don't be scared. Just think about all the wonderful things that you've done in the past that made you feel really confident. Think of some of those things now and tell me what they are. Cherry said, Eh, uh, well, I like to, I like surfing. I'm really good at that. See, said Vaya. And eh, uh, I like football. I'm really good at football. I'm really good at climbing trees. And I'm, I'm, I'm really good at swimming. And I'm, I'm really good at, at, at making snowballs. And I'm really good at, um, at eating my dinner. See, said Vaya, all those things are going to make you feel more confident. They make me feel confident when I think about, I was, I was thinking about being a, an absolutely awesome princess and how good I am at being a princess. And, and, and all I did was just drum up all my confidence and just go whack. 
So Cherry said, That's it! That's all you do! You just drum up all your confidence! Bea said, Me, me, me thought about it like a big ball of energy in, in my tummy. And, and, and I used that energy and that confidence and I, I, I zoomed it up my body and I, and I zoomed it down my paws and into my paws and then I just went whack and it broke. Cherry said, Right! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I can imagine a big ball of, like, uh, fire! Oh, even better! A big ball of flaming Cheetos in my tummy! And they're full of energy! And, and they're gonna make me do absolutely awesome! And, and then I'm gonna pull up this energy and all of this confidence, pull it up through my body, up into my paws, down, down my legs, into my paws, and I'm ready! Liam, I'm ready! I'm ready! Are you ready, Liam? Liam held up the board for her, in front of her, just at the right height, so that she could whack it. Do you want me to count to three? said Liam. Cherry said, no, that's going to make me really nervous. Oh, wait a minute, let me fly. Wait a minute, let me focus on my flaming Cheetos. <gasps> okay, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, can Heidi, Heidi, cheer me on, cheer me on. Heidi said, you can do it, Cherry. Cleo said, you can do it, Cherry. And Cherry went, okay, I'm going to do it. Whack. And she broke the board in half. said Cherry. I did it! I did it! I absolutely could do it! Oh my goodness, you were right there! Thanks for the flaming Cheeto tip! That was absolutely awesome! I'm going to use that in the future whenever I need to be confident about something. I'm going to think about all the wonderful things that I can do that make me feel really, really, really confident. And I'm going to pretend it's a big ball of confidence in my belly that's really flaming Cheetos. And then I'm going to use that energy to, to, to do whatever I need to do. And I'm going to do it! I can do absolutely anything! Heidi, go for it! Go for it! You can do it! You can do it! Heidi stood in front of Liam. It was her turn. She did everything that Vea and Cherry had done in her mind and whack! She also whacked the board clean in half. Liam was impressed. Cleo said, can I do it? Cleo stood in front of Liam. She did the build-up of her energy, all of her confidence, travelled it down into her paws and whack! And she whacked the board in half. Four cats successfully smashed the wooden board in half. Liam stood there in front of all of them and said, Wow, I'm very impressed. You obviously all have lots of discipline. You obviously can take direction, which is very important. Listening to adults, well, I'm not an adult, but I'm almost an adult. Could be an adult in this situation. And you listened and you all did absolutely amazing. The cats were all super proud of themselves. They were like high-fiving each other. We should have a party, said Cherry. We should celebrate. Do you have anything like party-like that we could do that could make us feel like we're having a party and celebrate? Liam said, well, we do have some drinks and some snacks and maybe I could ask if we have some balloons. <gasps> Bal oh, I don't like balloons, said Cherry. But I do like snacks and I do like drinks. Vea, Heidi and Cleo all nodded and said yes, they were thirsty after working out so hard and breaking the boards that they could do with a snack and some drinks and sit down and celebrate. The cats did just that. They had a lot of fun laughing and joking and talking about discipline and listening to your adults and following directions and all of that wonderful stuff that you learn with Taekwondo. Cherry actually learned how to say it just right. They had a lot of fun. They were so glad that they were walking past Liam and Cleo's house just at the right time. How cool is that? They thought. They eventually went home, snuggled down onto their big fluffy cat bed, got comfortable, started to let themselves get sleepy. They let go of their day, tried to clear their minds, relaxed their little cat bodies, 
and fell into sweet, sweet dreams. <laughs> <laughs>